Whew. God, don't look down that shaft. We are fucking high up. I mean, really, really high up. I said don't look. What, I suppose you're going to say I'm a baby and it's not that high, is that it? Uh, yeah, as I thought. Oh, God. I can't believe we're going to abseil down that thing. Whose idea was this again? There's no way it was mine. Oh, yeah. Fuck, it was, wasn't it? What was I thinking? Uh, well, can't back out now. Or oh, we could, but I'd rather not. I'm sure you'll get over how high up we are. <laughs> now, let's see what time it is. Mm. Got a few minutes before Al- Fuck, not Alex. Fuck, code names. Code names. I'm Pippin, you're Mary, Alex- Fuck me, I almost said Alex again. Fuck, I said it. Whatever. Alex is Gandalf. Can't believe we let a hacker come up with the code names. Of course they'd lumber us with this nerd stuff. <sighs> I guess they're okay. I still don't understand why I couldn't be Frodo, though. I'm not that cocky. Anyway, we've got a few minutes before Gandalf wanted to do that thing. Let's get the gear out, get it all set up. Uh, okay. Rope one, pulley thing, whatever it's called, carabiner, that's it. Gandalf said according to the plans for the lift shaft, there should be a couple of loop thingies that we can use as attachment points. Uh, yeah, look, here. Get your stuff out, let's get it all hooked up. Come on, what are you waiting for? Get your rope out, we've got to get on with this. What? No, I wouldn't have... You were meant to bring your own rope. Why wouldn't you bring your own rope? Stop messing around. Come on. You must have it in there. Well, if not your rope, what do you have? What's that bag for? Oh. Oh, look, Carter. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did say, didn't we? I'd bring the climbing stuff, you'd bring the cutter. Yeah... Yeah, I only have one rope in this bag. Definitely. Look, I'll just tip it all out, sod it. There. One single rope. Oh well, I'm sure it's not a big deal. We can just go down one after the other. You did at least put the harness on before we left, right? You got it on under that jacket. Ah, thank fuck for that. Although, hmm, only one carabiner, too. This was... I fucked up. I mean, I should have brought two, even if I was only planning for myself. As a backup, you know? But, yeah. Just got one. <laughs> I don't know. I guess one of us could go down first, then throw the carabiner back up. Would that work? Although, oh, it's a bloody tall lift shaft. I can't think of what else to do. We'll just have to hope that works, I guess. Let's call out. Al <sighs> right, right, Gandalf. Sorry, let's call Gandalf. See where they're at with the whole sensor hacking thing. Hey, uh, Gandalf. Can't believe you made me call you that. We're at the top of the shaft. You ready to go? Okay, first, the code names were Mary's idea, so blame them. Motherfucker. Second, I've been ready for an hour. The script's all scheduled for the time that we said. When it hits 1am, all the motion sensors in that shaft get spoofed for long enough for you to get down there. Uh, yeah, see, that's the thing. Been a bit of a fuck up with the gear. Only got the one rope, so we're going to have to go down one at a time. Can you keep the system offline for a bit longer? Like, double the time? What? 
No, you idiot, I'm not taking the system offline. I'm feeding it spoofed data. And the data stream is encrypted using time-based cryptography. The longer the data has to be spoofed for, the more difficult it is to crack. Generating spoofed data for 30 seconds took four days. Generating it for a whole minute could take weeks. We talked about this, that's why you had to drop at a specific time. <sighs> right. Fucking nuts. Why do they always have to make things so complicated? Couldn't they just take it off? You know, this uh, isn't a walkie-talkie. The mic's hot. I can hear everything you're saying. And no, I can't take the system offline completely. Someone would obviously notice and come sniffing around. Asshole. Oh, well, excuse me. I didn't know the way you were doing things was so delicate. Come on, Mary. Back me up here. This is stupid, right? Ugh, okay. Fine. We wouldn't be having this problem if you hadn't forgotten to bring the second rope. I know, I know. God. Okay, well, I guess we could go down side by side, both connected to the same carabiner. Gonna be bloody awkward, but I can't think of any other way. What do you think, Mary? <laughs> yeah, you won't be the only one who'll have to grin and bear it, trust me. Gandalf, can these carabiners take the weight of two people instead of just one? How should I know? I'm a hacker, not a climber. Well, you're so knowledgeable, generally, that I thought you might have done a little background research. Hmm. Well, as a matter of fact, I have, but... <laughs> Knew it. You shouldn't just assume. Anyway, yes, they can easily take your combined weight. As long as you got the ones we talked about and you didn't get some cheap knockoff brands. Uh, how off-brand is off-brand? <sighs> Please, God. I'm joking. Just joking. I got the ones we talked about. Look, Mary, see the brand name there. Tell Gandalf I haven't fucked this up at the very least. Yeah, see? I'm not completely useless. Yeah, well done. You clicked on the right Amazon link. Me and Mary are impressed, I'm sure. Is that true, Mary? Are you impressed? No. Okay, I'm not hurt or anything. Uh, anyway, shut up. We've only got a few minutes before it's time to go. Are you ready? Have you found those attachment points? Has the rope tied off? Uh, no, uh, okay. I'll do that. Good. Get on with it. I'm signing off now. I'll babysit the script just to make sure the cron job runs, but as soon as I see it's running fine, I'm burning everything and disappearing. Fly, you fools. Fools? I'm not a fool. Uh, they must have been talking about you. Anyway, let's get this done. Uh, you can probably tie a better knot than me, so do you want to do the honors? The loopy connection point things up. Uh, Gandalf? The things Gandalf mentioned are there, I think. No need to hit me that hard. I'm gonna leave a mark. No, no, I didn't say anything. You got that rope tied off? Is it safe? Are you sure? A hundred percent sure. Hold on, I want to test this myself first. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, okay, I guess that's... I mean, we won't find out for real until all our weight is on it, so... Oh God, this is going to be tricky. You know, part of me thinks that we should just abandon the plan and go home, come back to it when we've got the kit we need, but... Yeah, I know, I know. The diamond, who knows when it might be withdrawn. If it's going to happen at all, it has to be now. I know. This is just... I mean, God. So high up. And we have to do it together. At the same time, how are we even going to do it? I don't know how I'll be able to hold on to the rope if I'm pushed off to one side of it with you on the other. You know what I mean? Normally I'd put my feet kind of either side of the rope, but this is a nightmare. I guess we could, like... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. No, never mind. It doesn't make sense. Stupid idea. Well, okay. You could... Uh, sit on my lap. Like, I go first, wait at the top. You kind of put your back against my chest. 
think like a Russian nesting doll sort of situation. Does that make any sense? You... <sighs> Why do you have to put it that way? Makes it seem so intimate. But yeah, I guess that's... You'd be the little spoon. I'd be the big one. Only instead of a loving couple cuddled up in bed, we're two begrudging thieves dangling a hundred foot up a dirty, dangerous elevator shaft. Oh yeah, sounds lovely. I suppose the bright side is, if I plummet to my death and die, at least I'll bring you with me. But then... Oh, damn, I wouldn't get to haunt you from beyond the grave. Oh well, a small price to pay. <laughs> you know, the worst part is I can't even say this is the last time I work with you or whatever because it's me that fucked up. Oh, I'd love to be able to say that. But no, you get to say it. It's just not fair. Uh, yeah, well, I probably wouldn't actually say it either, even if I had the right to. We... Oh, shit, that's the one minute signal. We need to get ready to drop. Okay, I'm gonna clip on. <clears throat> Fucking hell. I believe I'm doing this. Okay, you clip on too. <clears throat> now, oh, God, this is gonna be awkward. I'll lower myself down, then you come right after me. Don't put too much weight on me or we'll both go. You still need to hold yourself up. Ready? Okay. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're right up in there, aren't you? <sighs> yeah, I knew this would be close quarters, but I didn't think about just how close we need to be to use the same clip. Oh, that giggling about. Oh, you're loving this, aren't you? Horrible. Okay, wait for the signal, then we're gonna drop. We're gonna have to be quick, we've only got about 30 seconds, remember? No funny business. <laughs> God. You're really rubbing against my... Ah, uh, okay. We gotta move. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, okay, halfway there. <laughs> Almost. <clears throat> God, this is wrong. The rubbing, I can't. It's just in the wrong place. <sighs> no, I can do this, it's fine. We're almost at the bottom, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> oh, God. What an ordeal. Thank Christ that's over. I was about to... Anyway. You okay? Why are you... What is that smirk about? Yeah, okay. You knew exactly where your ass was, didn't you? Very funny. Look, if there'd been any other way... I guess we could have done it facing one another, but then... God knows what you'd have done. Unbelievable as it is, I think that was the right choice. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I enjoyed myself a little. Nothing to do with you, though. Just like a bit of abseiling. Anyway, shut up and get the cutter out, we need to get through the roof of this thing. Good thing you were in charge of bringing that thing. If it had been on me, I probably would have brought a wood saw or something. <laughs> well, I just felt like you were probably going to say something like that, so I thought I'd get in there first. Was I right? <laughs> Knew it. Nice. How do those things even work? I wouldn't understand. Okay. You know what, I'd say try me, but you're probably right. Hmm. Oh 
okay. This is truly the point of no return. Now, once we drop in there, it's all on Dan. Wait, don't hit me. What was his code name? Gollum, right? Once we drop down, it's on Gollum to come and let us out at the right time. You ready? Okay. I'll go first. <clears throat> All clear. Come on down. What? Catch you? No, I... What? <clears throat> you fucking... <laughs> You'd better be grateful for my cat-like reflexes after that, you idiot. Get off me. Okay. God, how much noise did we just make? Like this thing is soundproof. Ah, it probably is. Now, yeah, there's a camera up there in the corner, but the light's off. Looks like Gandalf was right about the system being down for maintenance today. Terrible security here. You know, I actually have a savings account at this bank. Gotta be moving that somewhere else if we manage to get away with this, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Encrypted motion sensors in an empty lift shaft, but in the vault itself, turned off cameras. Make it make sense. Oh, hold on. Got a message, I think. Uh, it's Dan. Gollum, I mean. Probably just... Ju uh. Oh, fuck me, no. His fucking... Oh, for God's sake. Why did we rely on that guy? <sighs> guess. Go on, have a guess. You'll get it first time. Yep. Fucking lungs collapsed. Again. Dickhead. He's in our hospital. Says he's not going to be out till early morning. Look. That shitting, buggering arsehole. God. No, I... I know he can't help his lung collapsing. Again. I just... Oh God, I should have seen this coming. I should have known. He always does this. Why didn't I get someone else on for this? No, I guess I don't personally know any other corrupt bank guards who'd be willing to spring us from the vault in the middle of the night and then pretend like he just discovered an empty vault with a hole in the roof. You know, I could have at least looked. Ugh. Well, what do you think we should do? You think we could get back out through the roof of the vault? Uh, I don't know, it's pretty high. I don't see how we could climb up there. Besides, the motion sensors will be back on now, won't they? Right, exactly. We can't go back the way we came. Uh, I don't know. He didn't say exactly when he'll be out. Maybe it'll be before the bank opens? I'll ask. I guess we could just wait here overnight if he's still the one on shift, but... God, it's not going to be very comfy, is it? Cramped as hell in here. I thought there was going to be much more room to manoeuvre, but we're squashed together like sardines in a can. Uh, yeah, okay, he says he should be able to get here by 6am. That's not so bad. Six hours to kill could be worse. Guess we just have to suck it up. Might as well grab the stuff now and pack it up, I guess. Chuck us that duffel bag. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you didn't just aim at my arms. That would have been so boring and normal. <laughs> yeah, sure. I bet a lot of things you're going to do to me over the next few weeks are going to be payback for the rope fuck up. I'd say let the punishment fit the crime, but well, it's a little on the nose, isn't it? Because we're robbing a bank. Now, <sighs> you, um, you remember which number it was? I haven't a clue. Right, right. Uh... 
<laughs> no. No, it's not here. You see it over your side? Well, why didn't you say if you'd spotted it immediately? <laughs> you are getting on my last nerve tonight, I swear. Right, okay. You were enjoying watching me search for it, were you? What? Oh. Right, yeah, I see, because I had my back to you. Disgusting. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I would, if it had been the other way around. Now, come on, let's crack it open. You want to do the honours, or should I? Oh, how kind of you. Thank you. You just want to watch me fail to pick this lock, don't you? Well, you're going to be disappointed. I've been practising. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Got one specially for this somewhere. Uh, ah, here we go. Okay. Got the guard key. Dan gave that to you, didn't he? Oh, come on, don't give me that look. This is all messed up. I think we're well beyond code names now. Besides, it's not like anybody can hear us. Lovely. Hmm, okay. Alright. Let's see. Click out of seven. Six, yeah. That's good. Five, two. There's four. Oh, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> um, oh, ah, three. And two. And there we go. <laughs> See? I'm not completely useless. Oh, what? You reckon you'd have done it quicker? I doubt it, but fine. Next job we're on, you can do the picking. Uh, that's if I ever want to work with you again. Now, seeing as I had the pleasure of picking the lock, you can open the drawer and claim our prize. Huh? What do you mean, not there? It's, it's got to be. Move aside, let me have a look. <sighs> no. Oh, no, no, no. It can't be. It has to be here. What the... <sighs> no. You're right. Not a dicky bird. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, maybe they did catch wind of our little plan somehow, but I hope that we can trust everybody involved not to rat on us. At least, even if we can't trust everybody to be entirely competent. I think it's probably just bad luck. They decided coincidentally to move the rock somewhere else. <sighs> Good point. I guess we could just try all the boxes. Of course, we wouldn't have time for that if Dan's lung hadn't collapsed, so I guess we should thank him for that. How many are there in here? I don't know. Looks like 50-something, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Give it an hour or two, we'll have them all open. Yeah, take my spare pick. Let's... Oh god, so many. Let's get started. And... Uh, nope. Nothing. I assume you've had no luck either. Good god, what a waste of time. Although hell, at least having a few hours of lockpicking to do is better than spending that time doing absolutely nothing. What's the time now, around 2.30? Yeah, still got three or four hours before Dan gets over his lung thing and comes to spring us. <laughs> No, surprisingly enough, I didn't bring a book to this bank heist. I didn't think I'd have time for reading. I know, stupid of me. Of course I should have brought some reading material. <sighs> Don't suppose you've got any mobile data. 
Nope, I'm on 2G as well, just like Alex said we'd be. Just enough to send texts. Can't even watch YouTube. Worst part is there's hardly any room in here, we're so <clears throat> squeezed together. Could be worse. How could it be worse? I'm trapped here in this tiny little bank vault with you for another four hours. I can't imagine how this could be much worse. <laughs> shut up. No, shut up. Could be someone else. <laughs> Not sure how that would be worse. Just as bad, maybe. But worse? Mm -hmm. Well, fine if you feel that way. I won't argue. I guess being stuck in here with you is a little better than being trapped with someone else. I suppose at least it's not the first time we've been crammed together in a tight space. Remember that museum job? Your ass was right in my face crawling through those air ducts. <laughs> no, that wasn't so bad. It was... Well, I really didn't mind. <laughs> Just a good thing it's you here and not Alex. They ever told you about how claustrophobic they are? They'd be panicking right now, I bet. Oh, me and them? No, there's nothing there. They're taken, I think, and besides, they're not my type. I don't think I'm their type either, to be honest. You heard how much I clearly piss them off on the phone. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I know I piss you off too, and you piss me off just for the record. It's mutual pissing off. Surely you know this. Yeah, you. Of course you do. You're pissing me off right now, actually, with these inane questions. <laughs> right, exactly. You're annoying me with your questions, and I'm annoying you with my grouchiness. That's how it works with us. Mutual, like I said. God, maybe it would be better if I was stuck in here with Alex instead of you. You're really starting to get on my nerves now. Oh, just with your questions and that grin. Ugh, that shit-eating grin. Because you know you're getting to me, <laughs> prying and needling. God, maybe I should try to climb the walls, get back out through that hole, try my luck with the motion detectors. <laughs> well, it's either that or I kill you. Or, I don't know. Stuff a sock in your mouth, something like that. There's got to be some way to get you to shut up now. <sighs> yep, I've just decided that being stuck in here with you all night is going to be unbearable if you keep asking me silly questions like whether or not I piss you off. I'd much rather just... Oh God, I'd wish I'd brought a book. What could I do to get you to shut up? Ideally something that doesn't involve gagging you. Oh, you have an idea? Good, okay. Yeah, show me. Oh, come on then. What is it? Then I can... <laughs> right. Gotcha. Yeah. Does a pretty good job of shutting someone up. You know, I have an idea for how we can spend this time. Till Dan comes and gets us out of here. Obviously, I still hate you and everything, but... Well, we might as well. Just to kill time. <laughs>